Haemophilia figured prominently in the history of European royalty in the 19th and 20th centuries. Queen Victoria and her husband, Prince Albert, of the United Kingdom, through two of their five daughters, Princess Alice and Princess Beatrice, passed the mutation to various royal houses across the continent, including the royal families of Spain, Germany, and Russia. Victoria's youngest son, Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany, also had the disease, though none of her three elder sons did. Tests on the remains of the Romanov imperial family show that the specific form of hemophilia passed down by Queen Victoria was probably the relatively rare hemophilia B. In case you're wondering what what hemophilia is, hemophilia is caused by a mutation or change in one of the genes that provides instructions for making the clotting factor proteins needed to form a blood clot. This change or mutation can prevent the clotting protein from working properly or to be missing altogether. These genes are located on the X chromosome. The presence of hemophilia B within the European royal families was well known, with the condition once popularly known as the royal disease. The sex-linked X chromosome bleeding disorder manifests almost exclusively in males. Even though the genetic mutation causing the disorder is located on the X chromosome and can be inherited from the mother by male children or from either mother or father by female children. This is because the trait is recessive, meaning that only one correctly functioning copy of the blood clotting factor gene is necessary for normal clotting. Females have two X chromosomes, and hence redundant copies of the blood clotting factor gene located on them. A female who inherits a mutated copy on one X chromosome has also inherited a second X chromosome from the other parent that is likely to carry a non-mutated copy of the gene, capable of directing appropriate clotting. Such a female, with normal clotting but possessing a single mutated copy of the gene, is called a carrier. Males possess only a single X chromosome, inherited from their mother, having received a Y chromosome from their father instead of a second X. If their sole X chromosome contains the hemophilia mutation they possess no second copy to provide for normal function, as in carrier females. Each child of a carrier will have a 50% chance of inheriting their mother's mutation, of being a hemophiliac, sons, or carrier, daughters. The daughter of a male hemophiliac will always inherit his mutation, while a son cannot ever inherit it. A female will be affected with hemophilia only in the rare circumstance that she inherits mutated X chromosomes from both a hemophiliac father and a carrier or a hemophiliac mother. No case of such double inheritance is known among Queen Victoria's descendants. Although an individual's hemophilia can usually be traced in the ancestry, in about 30% of cases there is no family history of the disorder, and the condition is speculated to be the result of spontaneous mutation in an ancestor. Victoria's appears to have been a spontaneous or de novo mutation, most likely inherited from one of her parents, and she is usually considered the source of the disease in modern cases of hemophilia among her descendants. Queen Victoria's father, Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, was not a hemophiliac, but the mutation may have arisen as a germline mutation within him. The rate of spontaneous mutation is known to increase with paternal age, and is higher in fathers than in mothers at all ages. Victoria's father was 51 at her birth. The probability of her mother having had a lover with hemophilia is minuscule given the low life expectancy of early 19th century hemophiliacs. Her mother, Victoria, Duchess of Kent, was not known to have a family history of the disease, although it is possible that she was a carrier. But among her three children only Victoria received the mutated copy. Queen Victoria's eldest daughter, Victoria, Princess Royal, apparently escaped the hemophilia gene, as it did not appear in any of her matrilineal descendants. Victoria's fifth child, Princess Helena, may or may not have been a carrier, two healthy sons survived to adulthood, but two other sons died in infancy, and her two daughters did not have issue. Victoria's sixth child, Princess Louise, died without issue. Queen Victoria's sons Edward VII, Alfred, Duke of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha, and Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught and Strathern were not hemophiliacs. However, her daughters Alice and Beatrice were confirmed carriers of the gene, and Victoria's son Leopold had hemophilia, making his daughter Princess Alice, Countess of Athlone a carrier as well. Please before we continue don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you get notified on our next upload. Don't forget to comment your thoughts too. Queen Victoria died in 1901 and outlived her youngest son and a grandson, both of whom had the disease. The gene can be passed down the female line without a hemophiliac son being born, but as the family line continues and no hemophiliac sons are born, it becomes less likely that a certain ancestor had the gene and passed it on through the female line. Because the last known descendant of Queen Victoria with hemophilia died in the 1940s, the exact type of hemophilia found in this family remained unknown until 2009. Using genetic analysis of the remains of the assassinated Romanov dynasty, and specifically Tsarevich Alexei, Rogovet Al. 
were able to determine that the royal disease is actually hemophilia B. Specifically, they found a single nucleotide change in the gene for clotting factor 9 that causes incorrect RNA splicing and produces a truncated, non-functional protein. Her son Leopold died of a hemorrhage after a fall when he was 30. If you would like to support the channel please check out our Patreon. You would also enjoy exclusive benefits like customized merches, artifacts, shoutouts, and a whole lot more. Click link in the description to join the family by subscribing to a membership. If you enjoyed this video to the end, like comment, share with your loved ones and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next upload.